This is the Ryobi 14 inch 40 volt brushless model. Uses one of these big honking lithium ion batteries. Let's see how it performs. The battery installs right in the side of the chainsaw. Just like that. You can press the button on there. Tell you how much juice you have. Little pull of the safety trigger. Now one thing I will mention right off the bat is even though this is a cordless chainsaw and doesn't have a motor, the bar on this is still very loud as the blade turns around so you definitely have to still use hearing protection. All right, let's see how it cuts. Like any chainsaw, this does require you to put some bar oil in it to keep the blade lubricated. So that goes right in this little compartment up front. In my experience with this chainsaw, any bar oil that's in the tank will slowly leak out. So when it's in storage, it'll make a big mess. Because of that, I only put a little bit of oil at a time. So there's never too much oil in the tank to make a mess while it's in storage. So I've got these two trees that are too close together. They're growing into each other and because of that, they're killing each other on one side. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the hardwood tree because the other one provides better coverage between my neighbors. Let's do it. Just like that. All right, so I'm done with the saw for today. You can see I changed clothes. Uh, even though it wasn't supposed to rain, it decided to rain, so I got pretty wet. Actually cut down some of the filming too. I didn't get as much footage of using the saw as I wanted to because of the rain. I was trying to get my project done. But I ended up taking down a couple of small trees and cutting a broken limb off of one of my Leland Cypress. So I'll insert a couple of pictures here. You can see the diameters of the stuff I, I cut. One of the trees I took down was a ginkgo. Uh, that ginkgo was about 11 inches wide at its widest spot. I cut it really close to the ground so I could just put some dirt and seed right over it. Saw did a great job with that, no problems. Took a couple of passes at it to get it that close, but uh, I definitely got what I wanted done. After cutting all that up, trimming it up, uh, cutting the branches down and everything, you can see here the battery's totally burned down. I've only got one power cell left on there. That's perfectly fine. These things charge up pretty quick. Uh, they give good battery life, saw's got good power, very happy with it. So when you buy this chainsaw, what you get in the box, get the 14 inch cordless chainsaw, you get one 40 volt, four milliamp hour battery, and you get a battery charger with all the little battery charger indicator lights. The only thing I don't like about this charger is I would prefer that it have the keyhole slots so you could mount it on the wall and still see the indicators. Unfortunately, there's no keyhole slot, so you can't mount it. And when you put the battery in it, I usually end up setting it like that, so it's blocking the indicators anyway. I guess you could put it on the battery. Again, I think, I think Ryobi could have done something a little bit better with this. It works good, I, I just wish there was a way to mount that to, so it'd be a little bit more out of the way. Um, it does take a couple hours to charge one of these batteries to full capacity, but I find that they, uh, they last pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. From a specifications perspective, not too much to say about the chainsaw. Uh, like I said, it was a 14 inch blade. The saw itself weighs about 11 and a half pounds. Comes with a five year limited warranty on the saw and a three year limited warranty on the battery. I got it when it was on sale at the Home Depot. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. Uh, as of April of 2022, their website has it advertised with the battery kit for about $199. So would I buy the saw again? 
absolutely. It's been great for me. I've got a bunch of trees in my yard, but nothing that are too big. So I've done a tremendous amount of tree trimming with it. I've taken down at least uh, three or four small trees. I've done some significant pruning on uh, a big wall of Leland Cypress I have all the way down my side yard. Um, so it's, it's been well worth the money for me. If I would have paid somebody to do that, it would have cost me you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, where I was able to get this for under $200. It still works great. I've got the saw. Um, I've only had it for about six months, but I have used it at least a dozen times, and every time it's performed extremely well for me. Uh, the weight is pretty easy to handle. You can even operate the saw with one hand if you want. It's a little bit heavier with the battery in, but, um, but it works great. Really happy with it. I would definitely recommend this to somebody who wants a, a cordless saw and isn't looking to tackle too many big jobs. All right, hey, thanks for watching my video. Appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing, think about hitting the like button. Think about subscribing as well. It really helps me, helps the channel grow. I also want to throw a shout out to all my brothers and sisters in harm's way around the world. You're always in my thoughts. Be safe out there. Till next time, take care everybody. I've added some links up above to some other videos you might like. Feel free to check them out.